Hi viewers, welcome to another tutorial of today. An individual requested the tutorial for inequalities to be made and here it is. The question is coming from 2023 Additional Mathematics ECZ Internal Paper 2 and it is question number 2. So this is the examination for school certificate ordinary level additional mathematics. Let's try to check the question in the past paper. Here is the question. So it is question number two. Uh, question number two has uh, two parts. And then there is part A and part B. Find the range of values of x for which 3x squared minus 14x plus 8 is greater than 0. And that is carrying 3 max. And then let's go to part B. Part B says express 9 minus 4x minus 3x squared in the form A minus B. Open brackets x plus c. Close brackets uh, squared. So where A b and c are constants hence find the coordinates of the turning point and that is going for max let's try to solve the, the question so we're going to start with uh we're going to start with uh, a we're going to start with part a which says find the range of values of x for which 3x squared minus 14x plus 8 is greater than zero. Let's start. So we have part A, which is so we are given that uh, the inequality is 3x squared minus 14x plus 8 is greater than zero. So what we should do is that we have to equate this to a zero so that we can find the actual values. So that we can find the actual values and then by doing so, we can use the factorization method, and then by factorization method, we can uh, we have to find the product and the sum. So the product is, uh, you have to multiply three multiplied by eight, which will give you twenty-four, and then the sum, it is that value which is uh, in the middle, which is negative fourteen. So the product is twenty-four. So we can write 24 there. Let's try to find the factors of 24. So the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And it can go like that. You can write as much as you can. But in this video, we're going to end on 4. So the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So when you multiply 1, multiply it by 24. It will give you 24. And then, so we need to find numbers, two numbers on the list. We have to find two numbers whereby when you multiply them, it will give you 24. And then when you add them, it should give you negative 14. So we have 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, 6. So Let's try to check. Let's try to check. So, when you add two and twelve, it will give you fourteen. And when you multiply two and twelve, it will give you twenty-four. So, what we can do is that we can just make those two numbers to be negative. So, it will be negative. 2 negative 12 because when you multiply negative 2 multiplied by negative 12 it will give you positive 24 and then when you add negative 2 plus negative 12 it will give you negative 14 so those are the numbers which we are looking for so we are simply going to write 3x squared minus 2x minus 12x we have to get those two numbers and then plus 8 which is there is equal to 0 so 
we are trying to find the actual values of x we are trying to find the actual values of x and then after that we have to factorize so after factorizing so that the common the common thing is x so x is going to be outside the brackets and then inside 3x and negative 2 and then there negative 4 open brackets 3x minus 2 on the first part we have factorized 3x squared minus 2x and then on the second part we have factorized negative 2x plus 8 so what we should know is that uh, those which are in brackets they should be the same when you are factorizing they should be the same it uh, so in that case 3x minus 2 it is the same as that one which is on the right so we have to equate that so x minus 4 is equal to 0 or 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 so when you find the value of x it will give you 4 and then that side it will give you 2 over 3 so we have to use the testing method now after you find the values you have to use the testing method so you can write something like that so you can write since 2 over 3 is something like 0 0.6666 and it goes like that so 0 is less than 4 so 0 should be on the left and then 4 should be on the right so you can write something like that now let's try to test let's try to test value the values so in this case we are going to find uh, we are going to look for values which are greater than 4 Let's try to fire. Uh, let's try to test for those values which are greater than four, and then we can uh, take maybe five. We can take five. So we can try to take five, since five is greater than four. You can get any value. It can be six. It can be ten. As long as it is greater than four. So. When you take 5, you replace where there is x. When you, re uh, when you take 5, so it will give you 13. Now, is 13 greater than 0? Yes, 13 is greater than 0. So, one of the range which they are, they are looking for, it is, uh, they are those which are greater than 4. Now, let's try to check another thing. Let's, let's try to check those values which are less than 2 over 3. So those values which are less than 2 over 3, so 2 over 3 is like 0 0.6666, and then, so 2 over 3 is like 0 0.6666, and it goes like that, and then a value which is less than 0 0.6 is 0 itself. So you are going to replace where there is x with a 0. So, when you replace it, it will give you the value of 8. Now, is 8, 8 is greater than 0. 8 is greater than 0. So, that is the value that we are looking for. And that is the range. So, the range should be those which are less than 2 over 3. So, you can get any value which is less than 2 over 3. You can get any value which is less than 2 over 3. So let's try to check those which are between 2 over 3 and 4 if it can agree. So in that case we can try to get 1 because 1 is between 2 over 3 and 4. So when you replace 1 it will give you the value of negative 3. Now let's try to ask ourselves is negative 3 greater than 0? No. That is wrong, that is false, so in that case it is not needed, it is not in the range. So the only range that we have are those values which are greater than 4 and those values which are less than 2 over 3. So therefore 
So x is greater than 4 and x is less than 2 over 3. So b says express 9 minus 4 x minus 2x squared in the form a minus b open brackets x plus 3 uh, x plus c close bracket squared where a b and c are constants hence find the coordinates of the turning point so what you should do is that you have to expand that which is a minus b open brackets x plus c close brackets 2 so you have to expand that so after you expand it it will be since squared it means that you have to square it so it will be a minus b open brackets x plus c close brackets open brackets x plus c close brackets and then it will be like that and then after you do that you have to evaluate, uh, you have to do some calculations you have to so x multiplied by x it will give you x squared and then x multiplied by x um, x multiplied by c it will give you x uh, cx and then c multiplied by x it will give you cx and then c by c it will give you c squared a minus so in that case you have to multiply again b throughout so you have to multiply b with those which are in brackets after you do the simplification so it will be a minus b x squared uh, minus uh, 2bcx minus bc squared so let's try to even write that uh, expression which we are given which is 9 minus 4x minus 3x squared so the value of a uh, we have 9 you have 9 does not have any x variable it does not have any variable 9 does not have any variable so you can get a minus b c squared because they don't have any variable so a minus b c squared is equal to 9 and then you have to identify those which have the x variable so in that case negative 2bcx it will equal to negative 4x because they both have the x variable and then let's go to another term so you have to also identify those which have the x uh, squared variable so you have to find those which have the x squared so it is negative b x squared is equal to negative 3x squared so we have uh, three terms we have a b and c so what we're going to do in this video is that uh, we're going to find each term independently so here we're going to start with uh, finding the value we're going to start by finding the value of b and then when you do some calculations it will give you 3 so the value of b is equal to 3 and then the next step you have to replace b on that uh, expression that equation which is there so when you replace when you replace b and then that b is 3 again you do the calculations the value of c will be like that so c is equal to 2 over 3 like that and then you also have to replace again there you have to do the same you know and then you do the calculations again after doing the calculations it will give you something like that a is uh, a minus 3 open brackets 4 over 9 close brackets is equal to 9 and then when you divide it will be like that it will be 4 over 3 is equal to 9 and then when you make a the subject it will be 
a is equal to 9 plus 4 over 3 and then a the value of a will be 10 1 over 3 let's now start replacing so we are given that we should express it in that form which is a minus b open brackets x plus c close brackets squared so the value of a we found it as 10 1 over 3 and then the value of b is 3 and then the x will just remain like that and then the value of c is 2 over 3 and then the squared will be like that so therefore it will be like that so therefore the answer will be like 10 1 over 3 minus 3 open brackets uh, x plus 2 over 3 uh, squared so this is how you're expected to answer